What's going on guys? The Not the Rainer here, uh, bringing you another Diablo 3 video. Alright, so I've been working on this Necromancer basically this whole season, uh, season 11. And basically got his, the set I'm going for together except for one item, so I'm going to show you it right now. Alright, so I got the Jet set, the two piece. Um, it's the scythe and the shield. So you can see it, what the set piece does when your target of your command skeletons dies, your skeletons automatically commanded to attack a different target. So you sick your skeletons on somebody, they kill that person, they automatically command to attack somebody else. And then while your skeletons are commanded, all of your minions do 400% increased damage. That's pretty good because uh, this is mainly a skeletal mage build. So them being able to do 400% increased damage is pretty, pretty good. I also have the five piece Rathma set and Rathmas that's you can see what that does there um, I don't use the army of the dead in this build so the two piece bonus is kinda meh but the extra damage reduction is pretty good and that builds up pretty quick with all my minions and then uh, each active skeletal mage increases the damage of my minions and army of the dead by 625 up to a max of 2500 now again don't use army of the dead but it increases the damage of my my minions, which is includes my skeletons and my skeletal mages. So there's another buff for the skeletal mages. Um, I have the Traveler's Pledge and the Compass Rose, the ring. So when I'm moving, I take less damage. When I'm standing still, I do more damage. Uh, what else? Um, I need... I'm missing one ring. Or, yeah. I am missing a ring. I have this ring right now, which is every time I summon a mage, instead of summoning one mage, I summon two, and they last four seconds longer. And then I have the Witching Hour belt, which is, I think that's what I'm going to keep, is that belt. Uh, Gem-wise, I have, in that one, Bane of the Powerful, and then uh, Enforcer in there. I need to re-roll that one so I can get a socket on it. So I can get... I think Bane of the Trapped in there. And then skills. Uh, X is um, Bone Spikes. Uh, Self-explanatory on the screen there. Um, I use Bone Spikes because I have this. Where'd it go? Right there. Uh, Rihanna's Shadow Hook. Every point of maximum essence increases your damage by 0.5%, and Bone Spikes generates five additional essence for each enemy hit. So if I hit a group of enemies with it, those spikes, it's going to give me a lot more essence, which means I can summon more Skeletal Mages, which means I do more damage. I got Tasker and Theo, self-explanatory. I mean, 50% increase in attack speed for all of my pets. That's insane. And then I got uh, Crisbin Sentence. I do increase damage against slowed enemies or triple this bonus against enemies afflicted by any other type of control pairing effect. So, I have, where is it, Decryptify, which slows enemy targets and has a 10% 10% chance to stun. So, if they're slowed, no matter what, they'll take double damage. But, if they're that 10% procs, and they actually get stunned, they're taking triple that damage. That's, that's insane. Um, the mages I have are uh, the singularity, obviously. Every point of essence that's used to create, it takes all of your essence, and then every point of essence that's used increases the damage by 3%. I have, how much? I have a decent amount of essence, I'll let you know. Uh, 290 essence. I could have more, but right now I have 290. So, it's a decent increase in damage right there. Um, and since I have this ring, I summon two skill or two mages at that power instead of one mage at that power, which is awesome. Uh, devour with cannibalize. So not only do I get the ten essence for each corpse, I also get three percent health. That helps keep me alive because this build is squishy. Um, command skeletons with frenzy. I might change that. Actually, I was thinking of changing that to dark mending just because it'll keep me alive. Either that or freezing grasp. Because whoever I command gets frozen and they take a... 
Yeah, that's what I think they'll do is freeze and grasp because they'll go to a target, freeze that target, and then if that target dies, they'll automatically command another target, that target will get frozen, etc., etc. All right. Anyway, um, scrap fire I already showed you. I have, I can't even see that, simulcrum, uh, where it doubles my essence. So I will have 580 essence, which will make those first two um, first two skeletal mages I summon after popping that insane amount of damage. Like they have so many more, so much more damage. It's ridiculous. And then uh, passives uh, increase the duration of skeletal mages by 25%. Increase maximum essence by 40. Uh, when I take lethal damage, uh, basically all my minions will die. I'll come. I won't die. It happens once every 60 seconds. Because again, it's a glass cannon build. I will die. And then this one here, I get 1% damage bonus for every enemy affected by one of my curses. So that's why I cast Decreptify and everything I can. So that's basically it. You can see my stats right there. Um, we're going to try a Rift here. We're going to do... I think I'm going to go up to the highest I've done so far, which is 63. I know that's not 100 or anything, but some of my gear doesn't have the best rolls of, on stats. So I need to keep re-rolling them until they get better. But for now, let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. If there's a mob here, I might pop Simulcrum and the mages right away. Depending on what spawns right here, because sometimes like bosses spawn right here. Oh, I realize I forgot to show you one piece of equipment I have too. I'll, uh, I'll do that in a second here. Okay, so one thing I forgot, Nemesis Bracers. Anytime I click on a, s or get a shrine buff or a pylon buff, it'll spawn an enemy champion. Now the good thing about that is like if you're doing a rift here, those pylons give you crazy damage boosts. Like the speed one, you know, increases your attack speed by a, a huge amount. Uh, shield makes you basically immune to damage. The damage buff, ex self-explanatory, and then the the conduit buff which just lights everybody up with lightning so imagine having a boss spawn right there as you get that powerful buff it's just like free free uh timer basically so all right let's get started oh uh, yep all right then absorb all those corpses see that's a boss right that was a boss right there all right There's another boss. All right, command skeletons. Look at that. I always forget to use command skeletons because I just got that piece. Look how fast that timer's going up. I haven't been casting Decreptify either for a while. There we go, got my 10 mages out. Of course, oh. I heard a goblin. At least I think I heard a goblin. Alright, so watch. So when I touch this, somebody's gonna spawn. You ready? But look, they just get destroyed right away. 
I mean, that's that's perfect. It gives me, you know, extra orbs to fill that bar up even faster. Oh, and I didn't mention what Simulcrum does. Um, basically, here, I'll show you. I didn't mention this. Um, it... I told you the secondary power where maximum essence is doubled, but it duplicates any of my secondary skills. So my one secondary skill that I use is my mages, right? But with that ring that I have, I summon two mages instead of one. So if I pop Simulcrum, I summon four mages. So if I fill my essence up all the way, pop Simulcrum, and then use summon the mages, that's four mages with insane amount of damage. You gotta think um, 3% times 590 essence. So that's what it's over 1600% extra damage just right there. It's just crazy numbers. That's why they're doing, I think I see them create like 118 million or billion right or something like that right now. Which actually isn't even that high. I've seen people crit a trillion. I just gotta keep rerolling the stats so I'll get better. See, that was 45 billion right there. I'm leveling up so fast that I just keep, it just keeps giving me back the cooldown on Simulcrum. Oh, heck yeah. Here we go. Oh, get out of that. Alrighty, almost got the boss. No, I'm gonna lose my buff. Dang it. Fill up my essence here for a second. There we go. So they automatically just charge people. That's awesome. Like, normally they would just do the one target and then they would stop, but with that ring, they just... Seriously? Alright, hopefully that's enough. Ah! All right, just a couple more things. We can wreck this boss in like three shots. All right, here he is. Uh-oh. He's actually taking some damage. How about now? Yep, that's what I thought. Oh, uh, look at all those pretty items. With nine minutes and 47 seconds remaining. Alright. So, let's see. I need to level up. What was I working on? Oh, yeah, I was working on Bane of the Trapped. I need to get this one to 25. Because enemies under control impairing effects, any enemy with the Creptify, boom, there's even more bonus damage. Alright. Back to town. Let's see what kind of goodies I got real quick. First, let's talk to Oric. Thank you. Now, there's an item that'll make me way less squishy, but I have not gotten it yet. Ooh, I just got a new transpawn. What was that? Spear of Jero. Your thorns is increased by 15% for every enemy infected by one of your curses. So that's interesting. 
Items become indestructible. That's lame. Get black thorns a lot. Unity. I like unity. Alright, well, nothing really too great that time. Break all these down. If you're wondering why I'm breaking all these legendary items down. I have 103 legendary items in here. Like, I have all types of different stuff. So I don't don't really need them. I'm saving all of the Necromancer sets just because I want to test them all out. Like, I have, I think, most of the Pestilence set. Um, I have another piece of Ramphus for some reason. Uh, Tragols set I also have. I'm working on... I, an Arius set, I have every other set available in case they buff or whatever. <laughs> now this item, <laughs> this is a dagger called the Horodric Hamburger. It's freaking, it's hilarious. I don't know why it looks like a hamburger, but sure. Stab somebody to death with a hamburger. But uh, anyway, so that's that was just a little showcase of the build. Um, I'm going to try and see how high I can push before I start getting into some serious trouble in the rifts and then maybe I'll do a video at the highest rift I get to we'll see where we're at because that was 63 and I blew through that like it was nothing so I can I feel like I can do at least to up to 80 and then once I reroll some of my gear maybe even higher I'm hoping to get up to 100 it'll be awesome but we'll have to see anyway this is a uh, Denoth Rainer signing out <laughs>